or something. I like that certain movies that did not get the attention before are getting the attention now. Uh, somebody brought to my attention that Up was nominated last year. I did not realize that. I'll admit that right now. And I watched that show just to show you how much I forget these awards. And I yeah. think when you have 10 nominees, it's good faith in the Academy Awards to show, like, okay, we kind of understand what people are talking about. We're still political, but we don't, you know, we, we, we want to address it in some sort of way. We might not be able to solve it. We might not be, we, we, we're still going to be political as we were before. But, like, and where I'm going with this is that something like Up and Toy Story 3, they're animated movies where if you had five movies that were nominated, you would not see an animated picture be nominated for Best Picture right now. Uh, but when you have ten, they like shit. We gotta fill space with something. Yeah, go ahead, pull, pull, go ahead and put up and Toy Story <laughs> three in there. So, but what's the point if they're never gonna win? You really, they're just seat fillers. It's, it's just to like give acknowledgement to. Now that's a, it depends on what frame of mind you're in. If you're my, if you're okay with movies getting acknowledged, even though you know you know they're not gonna win, mm-hmm. okay. But if you think like, well, you know these movies aren't gonna win, so it's pointless. Then maybe you're against it. I like the acknowledgement, so I'm okay with it. It just, I guess it just kind of feels like tokenism in a way. It's something to put on the DVD box, like a Cameo Award nominee for Best Picture. And like it feels like it's nothing more than that. Like They had no point will feel like, you're well, never going to win, but we'll, we'll push you through. You I guess. are I right know. there. I mean, the, the Academy Award is in the business of pushing certain movies that they know are still out there and can still actually maybe pull in a little bit of money. So, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it's it's all a business. It's all political. But I think in in there, there's also some a little bit of uh, of trying to appease to the fans too. So that's <laughs> that's what I think. That's just me. So I'm gonna go ahead and move I'll, to another I'll, call. I'll, What's that? I don't think it's just you, but yeah, thank thank you, Cornelius. Okay, hey man, and uh, hey. <laughs> thank hey. you, Ed. Hey. 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 Bye. Hey, can I tell you? Has no one called you Cornelius in all these years. I gotta wonder that. No, you know, this, there used to be a guy who used to call me Cornelius when I used to work at a uh, at this uh, uh, software company years ago. He used to come in and do. It kind of offended me because he used to say Cornelius like I was like Cornelius in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> so I thought it was some racist shit. Like he was calling me a monkey. You know, he used to come in Cornelius. I was like, what the fuck are you trying wow. to say, man? You know, you don't, you don't you don't say that to a brother. You know, come on. Hey, can I tell you? Can I tell you a secret though? Hey, By all means. hey, listen. King Kong ain't got shit on me. What are we? What you number is that? You can't double dip. That's not. That's a game. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, that one doesn't count. Okay, all right, all right. I'm doing. I'm, I'm asking for too much. There's rules, man. I didn't know. Nobody filled me in on there that. There are standards, but you keep posting my blogs on the front page, so I got. So I'm gonna let it slide this time. So well, thank you're, you. You're very, you're a very good writer. So I appreciate you contributing like that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Talk to you later, man. Bye. Dude. <laughs> no, wait a minute, one more thing. I'm... Okay, what number is that? 718. 718. Uh, yeah. 718. Uh, am I on? Yes, you are on. Yeah. Right. Oh, hey, hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> uh, man, it's been off. Hey, man, I've been waiting here for so long. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know about this Oscars. I mean, seriously, Jesus. I mean, no surprises whatsoever. No, none. I mean, you could look. And the reason why I think there were no surprises is because. Well, I will, let me tell you something. There, there's a slight surprise, yeah. except it became more obvious near the end, as Leon was saying. I mean, they were building up the King speech so much that the more I thought about it, that's when I was like, okay, wow, King's speech make, actually pulled this off. And I was a little yeah. surprised that it got that. I was really expecting Black Swan to pull it. If you want to know deep down inside what I thought, I thought Black Swan was going to pull it. That was me. But, uh, right. you know, all those movies, who the fuck is giggling behind you? <laughs> Oh, man. What the fuck is going James on? James Franco's in the background. Is James Franco hanging out with you right now? <laughs> James Franco, I'm sorry. I had to mention this. What the, what the hell was up with him wearing a dress? A dress. Like, Look, seriously. Academy, I was well, you know what the fuck is up head. with that. Man, come on. Don't act, don't act like you're surprised by that. Like you said, no surprises. The Academy yeah, Awards, they do things that they think is funny. You know, we put James Franco in a dress. Oh, look, ha ha, that's funny. To us watching it, it's like... What the yeah. fuck is that? Big deal. You know, that's what, what's, well, the, what's the, the point of here? it? What's the point? Yeah, what's the punchline here? It's like, that's the, the Academy Award. The, here's the deal the Academy Award is a very conservative ceremony, okay, when you get right down to it, because they have so many people to, they have so many age groups, so many egos, so many different demographics, which I'm sorry, no matter how much you try to make it uh, lean to the younger crowd, 
it's still like an old fogey type of ceremony. And so that's why you don't get any surprises. The only surprises you get are when they try to like devi- deviate away from that too much and you see people fuck up or you see something just really embarrassing. Yeah. That's what I watched the Academy Awards for, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, nobody really it, fucked up this year. Like, like the Golden Globes. I tell you why the Golden Globes were so funny. Because you had Ricky Gervais there. Depending on your opinion, either being your hero or being an embarrassment, you had uh, uh, the, the, whoever the new Spider Man is going to be, Garfield, whatever his name, Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, Andrew Garfield. Not being able to read the teleprompter. There were a lot of fuck ups at the Golden Globe, and that kind of spiced things up and yeah, made it the funny. Best part of the Oscars this year was <laughs> Kirk Douglas going completely off of. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, it was good to see Kurt Douglas, but wow, I mean, you could, he was just, I don't know, to me, it looked like he was really out of it, and I don't know, for me personally, it just seemed, it was very painful to watch him, actually. It, well, uh, it was, it was kind of embarrassing that he couldn't talk, and they just let his ass go on, and look, I, I'm not going to say, maybe embarrassing is kind of harsh, because... If anybody's it, earned uh, the, the, the right to get up there and talk that long, you know, it's a guy like Kirk Douglas. Hell yeah. He's fucking yeah, I'm not old, saying anything you know? bad for that, definitely. It's just, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was very hard to really see him go on for that long. And, okay, but you know, here's the deal. Let me ask you something. You say it's embarrassing for him to go on that long. What was the most genuine uh, thing you've seen tonight? What was the most heartfelt, genuine, real human thing you saw tonight at the Academy? It Club? was definitely... I will admit it was definitely that, and of course I gotta oh, say yeah. when they did the tributes and stuff, yeah, it was actually it was heartfelt to see all the people that had passed away. Uh, yeah, well, you know that's that's a given. They even took the applause off of that, so they wouldn't feel like anybody uh, was being disrespected. But Melissa Leo, I would even say more Kirk Douglas. I mean, Melissa Leo, she just went on a little too long. You know, it was almost like she. Uh, definitely. I'm sure she wasn't before. Yeah, it was kind of cool to see somebody get starstruck as they were winning an Academy Award. But that is one. As far as the win, though, I would tell you this: Melissa Leo is the most genuine thing I saw because she earned it. She was the one I felt like she earned it the most. Kirk Douglas was the one I felt like, hey, this guy doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> so that is real, you know. He's like, I don't give a fuck about this ceremony. Don't, get your fucking hands off me. You know who I am? Like that guy tried to pull yeah, me off stage. That guy could not pull his own ass off stage. Yeah. And I figured, like, he, he was just too busy looking at that woman, like, the woman saying, mm, nice dress. Yeah, he was about uh, to rape Melissa Leo. Anyway, man, we got we got 19 minutes before Blog Talk Radio is out. We're going to ride this thing out to the end. So I'm going to go ahead right. and move, it to, move on to another call. Good talking to you, man. No, definitely, man. Uh, I'll, yeah, I just want to say very quickly, I used to write some stuff for, uh, for the site, uh, Writer for Hire, 18. I used to write some reviews and stuff. I just wanted to point that out very quickly. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that, you know, I reviewed it some offhand films, and I figured, you know, I contributed a little bit. Uh, I but, you know, more. I've been busy you know, I look for it. You know what? Let, bring it to my attention what you, what you, if you put up anything again. I don't, be the, by the way, I don't ask people to be active. I just ask people to come to the site. If you're active, that's a bonus. But, you know, if you ever write anything again, man, send me an email and let me know, because I'd like to, I always like to read people's contri- contributions to the site. No, definitely. I appreciate it. When I have time, I'll let you know, man. Hey, Thanks cool. a lot for taking the call. Oh, no. My pleasure, man. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. You still with me here? No. All right. Just making nice. sure. Is that 6602? That is 602. Oh, yes. Thank God. I'm not last. Thank God. What? This is Santos. I'm Sa- saying I'm Close. glad I'm not last. Oh, God Hola, it, Sancho. Santo. Santos. Oh. Hola, Santos. Sant- <laughs> he doesn't matter. He'll ask hey, me. Hey, hola. Wow. How you doing, man? Hola. Oh, I am. I am good. That's it. I'm good. Um, okay, what was I gonna say? Okay, here it goes. Um, all right, Oscars. You know, they spent all this money. All these great actors are there. Blah blah blah. You know what? Honestly, the most impressive thing for me were the envelopes. <laughs> Those envelopes do get bigger every year, don't they? He's gonna to get to one year. They're gonna bring that shit out like it's a publisher's clearinghouse check. <laughs> Yeah, the Oscars, yeah, the, you know, what, what, is that it? Are you just, like, saying, like, the envelopes are big? No, I'm just saying that Tom Hanks <laughs> even like the envelopes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I had to say, I mean, but, you know, uh, the Oscars. All right, you're going to hate me for that, but bye. Uh, he <laughs> I not understand any of that last He time. hates me every time I hang up on him. He, you can see. Well, he, some people don't like being hung up on, Corey. In that situation, ask me what I should do. I would have hung up. On thank him. you, thank you. I'm not people. You say I'm not the only one. But you, I'm the I'm the good guy here. I I didn't. Yeah, do you it. get to be good cop. See? Yay! Cause, see, Love people, me. 
You now you see why I do this, right? <laughs> yeah. You get certain calls, you got to keep things going. Yeah. Things slow down when you try to like. And Santos does this every time to me. It's almost become a running gag with me and Santos. Santos will get. A, I'll hang up on him. We'll come back and like you fucking ass. So why'd you hang up on me? You know that's just that's just rude. And I wouldn't do that to anybody myself. And then he'll come back and be like, Hey, Cor, how you doing, man? <laughs> I got a I got a question that you're gonna hang up on me again. So let's see. Let's go to. We got 15 minutes. Let's make the most out of it. 516, who's been waiting for four hours, he says. Jesus. Wow. Hi. Wow. Hello. Hello. How can I help you, you asshole? I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Oh, my goodness. I'm um, kidding. Totally kidding. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you looking forward to a Battle of Los Angeles? Yes. Yes. Really? Why? Well, I'm not excited for it because I'm going to put you on pause because you're, uh, there's an echo back there and it's killing me. I'm not, ex- I'm not, I'm, I'm eager to see it because it looks like a better version of what I want to see in Skyline. Am I like downright eager to see it? Like I can't wait to see this movie. Not really because I've seen so many alien invasion movies now that, yeah, you know, show me a good one or show me a bad one. We just got through with District 9, just got through with Skyline. Uh, you know, they got this series coming on TNT next from Steven Spielberg. You heard of this? No. What's it's it? Some, some uh, aliens take over shit. Really? Steven Spielberg's doing a project that has to do with aliens? I know. He's really going, Jeez. like, he's, 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 he's departing just venturing, from form. Yeah, yeah he's really far. doing something different this time. Yeah. You know, I Steven Spielberg for you, man. He takes dares, you know. <laughs> but I, I am not, I'm, I'm not excited, though, because I've seen so much done with that genre of film. Now, that's not to mean... To say that when I see it, I'm not going to be happy, excited. I'm not going to think it's great. I'm I'm looking forward to it because, it, like I said, it looks like a better version of Skyline. Skyline is a movie that I want to be cool and end up being really stupid. But this movie here looks like it could be that film that I want to see net. Outside of that, I still have that attitude of like with most movies today. I hold my judgment until the movie comes out. I don't want to get too excited. Don't want to get too. I don't want to be too hard on the film. In other words. I keep my expectations low. Have you seen Battle of Los Angeles, that trailer? No. Well, I think I've seen a teaser, and it didn't show anything. It's like a bunch of dudes running around and shit blowing up. <laughs> that's I what mean, I'm talking that's about. That's really interesting <laughs> to see uh, things exploding, but that doesn't tell me enough to n- let me know if I want to watch it or that's not. That's exactly what I'm saying. It shows you everything that you see in every other inv- alien invasion trailer. They're blowing the city up. Yeah. That's, you know, that's so it. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. 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 It's, uh, you had a nice that's that. 516, we answered your question. That echo is killing me. got to go. I no, I I didn't hang up. I was just, I mean, the the call was done. We answered this question. I mean, the echo was just sounding really terrible. Unlike seven one seven, right? Seven one seven, you got a good call. No echo here, right? Hey, Corey. No nothing. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Who is this? This is minimum wage on the site. Minimum wage. Is that what you're earning right now? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. At Hold the moment, you. yes. How old are you, man? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, well, you don't deserve no more. <laughs> Unless your name is Justin Bieber, you don't deserve no more money than that. Uh-oh, here come all the Justin Bieber's fans. Hey, people, let me tell you something. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll wait and tell you on Let's Do This. I'm going to save it. We got, that's, we're going to talk about that on that show. Anyway, minimum wage. How can I help you? I just have a quick question tonight. Okay. Um, I, I found it kind of strange how they only had three nominees this, this, this year for uh, Animated Feature. And I was wondering why they didn't put in any other ones that came out this year, like uh, Despicable Me or Megamind. Those aren't Oscar-worthy, I don't think. And what's the point? Because Toy Story, I mean, Toy Story was nominated. <laughs> yeah, it's why like, did they even have well, the, other, the other two nominees? I think somebody said, what, what pictures do we have that we can nominate for Best Animated Category? Well, we have... The Illusionist, okay. We got How to Train Your Dragon, that's, I can see that. We have Toy Story 3, okay. Well, and it went, oh, You know what? Toy Story 3 is going to get no need to go anymore. Seriously. Shut up. <laughs> just, just be quiet. See, we we got a long day ahead of us. Let's not spend too much time on this, okay? Moving on. But the other thing is, uh, Metal Virgin is right. I, I really, really do enjoy Despicable Me. I like the movie a lot. I like it more the more I see it. But... When I look at the artistry that went behind it and everything, uh, is it really best picture uh, material? No, probably not. I, you know, if they're going they're, from what they've done in the past, I don't. I wouldn't be surprised if they did nominate it for the best picture category. But I think it's one of those categories where people see that they're nominating stuff just to fill space, and they don't want to do that this year. You had th- three really good movies, and the rest would have been kind of 
So you're okay with them filling space in the top ten for best picture, but you're not okay with them filling space? No, because in the top ten, those movies, there's a lot of movies that come out that are brilliant. And Megamind, I don't think Megamind was brilliant. Megamind was okay. Did did Megamind even come out in 2010? Uh, I think it was yeah. like early, like January or something. I, are you sure? No, I don't know. I didn't watch I, it. God, no, I it, it came out uh, after Despicable Me. Oh, there you go. Mm, okay. I thought Mega Mind came. When did Mega Mind come out? Somebody tell me that. Not in to, the chat. Not to call you a liar, my man, but in the chat, somebody tell me when <laughs> Mega Mind came out. And don't you fucking lie to me, because I will find you and I will kill you. I know it came out on DVD, Lat. It didn't come out right after Despicable so Me. Are you saying November? Did it come out? September, September 2010. Summer 20. No, it didn't come out. Okay, just. God now damn. Now they're just throwing random they're just throwing out. shit out there. All right, whatever. Okay. It maybe came out in November. I trust these people, Corey. Well, I know. I can't The general consensus do, is that it was 2010, though. The general consensus is that it's, oh, November 5th. Okay, so you're right, man. Hey, look at me. I'm giving you shit, and you're right. Hey, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Here comes Santos. Rick, well, hang mad up at on me. him again. Fucking call me. Hang up on me. Uh, okay. Uh, listen. Yeah, I don't mind because all those movies in the. Best picture category mm-hmm. are best picture caliber. Okay? Really? Yes. Even 127 hours. I say if they had to push something out, I would have read the scene in the town over 127 hours, but I had no problem with 127 hours being nominated. Yeah. I really, I, like I said, I have no problem with any of those movies. They were all great films. It was a good time for films, man. So a great year for films. It was when we look back on it. Yeah. But, um, uh, uh, animation, that's the one where they obviously just like, okay, whatever's, if you animated it, it's going to be in our category. So I think yeah. Spill, I think Spill.com was nominated for an anime feature award because they just had the space for it one year. So it was better than some of the other count, the other ones that came out this year. Have you seen Illusionist? I have not. It didn't, it wasn't released over where I am and it's not out on DVD yet. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it though. Yeah, if you get a chance, it's, pretty brilliant man it's a great movie that's the movie that i would tell animators to get and just study recommended it to a guy who was asking me animation questions uh a week ago so anyway we are going to move on to Yay. another call here and we're going to go down to like oh, oh who is this this oh. is oh oh <laughs> oh i saw call it three one set all i don't know this Ancient Hello. Chinese secret. <laughs> it's made with dragon fire. Who <laughs> three one zero? What's up? What's up? It's your boy, Young uh, Compton. Uh, my, my man in Compton. What's up, boy? Shit, nothing much, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, man, just sitting up here getting messed up, watching Academy Awards, that old bullshit. You know. That. Yeah, same here. I'm high as fuck right now, dog. Uh, you and James Franco should be hanging out right now, man. That's what's up. <laughs> right. He must have got that same Buddha I was having. If not better, man. Shit, if I were you, I'd try to hook up and see what kind of sticky shit he's hooking up with, you know? Nah, I don't think he got what I got. <laughs> <laughs> shit, you probably gave it to him for all I know. <laughs> you fucked up the Academy Awards tonight, man. <laughs> Yeah, you gave us something to mention, man, because that fool was high as fuck. You know, man, come on now. You know you, hey, man, you know you into those trees a little bit, right? Right? <laughs> so you know when somebody's fucked up and you look at them, right? Hell yeah. You tell me James Franco wasn't a little, you know, spaced out tonight. That's all I'm saying. I think that dude is spaced out every movie he does. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it got to a point where that motherfucker see just smiling in every movie that he's in man you know after spider-man he just said fuck it i got money i'm happy i'm gonna smoke out and just do whatever the fuck i want to do and i gotta say i liked him tonight in this in the show not for the right reasons though he made me laugh because he was just sitting up there high as fuck as the night went along i mean come on you know it but how can i help you sir all right, man. I don't want to be the person to say this, but come on, this is the whitest award show I've seen in a long ass time. There was not <laughs> one minority. What are you talking about? They brought out <laughs> Oprah. Yeah, hey, the, like, the, like he said, y'all. this is the whitest <laughs> award show he's ever seen. I mean, I'm not even talking about the people that came up for his name. I'm talking about the people that were nominated. I mean, you can't tell me there's not one minority Mexican, Hispanic, Asian that could have been nominated for something. Javier Bardem was nominated. Javier Bardem, yeah. Oh, and, and, and didn't you see all the black and uh, Hispanic kids they brought out at the end? 
those those the, That's all the, the black and Hispanic munchkins they brought it at the end. Yeah, see, that's what I was like, yeah, we got niggas here too. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were there, man. They were just shining shoes in the bathroom, you know? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. You know, man, it's, I don't that, know. it's that kind of year. The Academy Award, I mean, that's Hollywood for you. I'm waiting for the day. You know, I, it's hard to say because I'm not one of those guys who wants to see diversity forced into movies. I mean, if you have a story to tell, you have a story to tell. And if it requires, like, a certain race of people, then that's fine. You know, Hollywood being what it is, though, we get a lot of uh, perspective from, from one race of person. And I'm waiting for that day that, you know, we kind of expand on that. I mean, listen, I, I'm glad you brought this up because a lot of people don't think that there's some sort of socialized racism in the media, even Rick, Chris Rock said, "Black people always complain about the media. It's the media. F- no, fuck that. Ain't, it ain't the media." I'm like, no, Chris Rock, you're fucking wrong. It is the media. Question is, all right, you know, you see people diversifying with certain shows and whatnot, but I look at certain shows that are on TV right now, like for example, The Bachelor. It's a white guy who gets his pick of any fucking race of chick that he wants. Do you think today? They would put a black bachelor on there and have a, like a, two or three fucking white chicks in front of him that he can pick. You know, mm-hmm. people still uncomfortable with that shit. So, yeah, you know, there, there, there is a sort of slant out there. And when I say, listen, when I say socialized racism, I'm not talking about that people have ill feelings towards any other race or they want to lynch people and that kind of shit or they hate a certain race. It's not that. It's just that we're used to seeing one thing, which is white, pretty much white males do whatever the fuck yep. they want to do and anybody else that goes out of that realm is different and risk being uncomfortable so yeah you know and that's why we still get as you say like a very vanilla bland white academy award show but hey that's what the BT source awards are for right? <laughs> where we give somebody a guarantee to throw a chair or shoot somebody or something, you know? so, so you know um so yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hey man, you know, you know, I love talking to you, and we are gonna talk again. I got five minutes left on here. I'm gonna take some calls. Thanks for taking a nigga call. Oh man, you know how it is. I always holding it down. Love that about you, man. All right, then I'll talk to you later. Peace. See. You. All right, three four seven. Damn you, Mr. Coleman. Yes, how may I help you, sir? Hey, hey, don't, I'm don't, doing quite fine. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Don't, don't, don't be rude. Say, hold on my, say hi to my girl right here. Metal Virgin's in here. Don't I was about to say that. Say Give hi to her. Give me some time, man. Go ahead. Talk Give to me her. some time. Talk to her. Hello, Metal Virgin. How's hi, it going? Hey, how are you? There you go. Doing quite fine. Be respectful of the lady. You know, that we respect women around here. Come on now. Don't be like that. Hey, go clean that shit up like I told you to, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> And wear that French made fucking skirt I gave you. No, it's too short. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it's not up by your neck, it's too long. <laughs> All right, hey, man, who is this? Johnny Appleseed, sir, here in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, Brooklyn. Shit. Uh, hey, man, we're part of. Wait a minute. Did we, we didn't hang out, did we? Yeah, you owe me. You owe me Uncle Jack and Uncle Jim B, man. Wait a minute. I, I didn't come to your house, right? No. Okay. Hey, well, look, you know, next time I'm in Brooklyn, because you know I stay in Brooklyn when I come up to New York, man. We got to hang out. Oh, really? How, how old are you? All right. 24. Hmm. Okay, drinking age. We can go out and hang then, man. Let's do it. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. So you live in Brooklyn? Yeah, I live. What part? Uh, Bushwick. <laughs> Bushwick Bill. All right. <laughs> Uh, give me an email, man. Let's hang out next time I'm in New York. I love finding a new drinking buddy to, to to do it. Where Brooklyn at, boy? Is what I'm saying. Yo, get chunk some Brooklyn ale, you know? Some Let's Brooklyn do it, brewery. Man. Let's do it, man. I'm in, usually when I stay, I'm over off of uh, Fulton. Fulton and uh, what's the fuck? It, Fulton heard? Street. Ful- yeah, Fulton Street and uh, Henriker or something like that. So I'm over there. <laughs> Oh, you God. know what I'm talking about, Herricker. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know you what you're know talking about. There's a fucking papaya dog over there. Fucking it's like a little. Everybody know everybody in there, Brooklyn. It's like yeah, a exactly. Dog in this piece. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, let's let's yeah. let's 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 uh let's hook up next time I'm there. So I'm I'm a little <laughs> fucked up right now. I'm glad. Well, don't forget this. to bring Metal Virgin along too. You yeah, know. Yeah. What the hell? I want to go to New York. I can fit in my bag, but a titties hang out of it when I try to pack it. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, okay. She's my hat. She, she got a the paper. When I pick the bag up. Oh, you know what? We got a little bit of time left. How can I help you, man? Yo, um, I'm 
what is really wrong with the Oscars is the fact that the the music aspect of the the performances is like a bunch of freaking lullaby. Watching these performances put me to sleep. Uh, I think ever since the fact that Hustle and Flow won Best Mu- Original Music for Hard Out Here and Pimp, they've been too conservative. I would have loved to see the soundtrack of Scott Pilgrim, mm. Tron. Well, I mean, Scott um, Pilgrim completely got shut out. So Scott Pilgrim yeah, is look, that movie that you – look, we just talked about how unhip – the Academy Awards are Scott Pilgrim is too hip for the average American out there. How do you think it's going to be up in the Academy Awards? They ain't going to even get that and shit. And I don't think even the soundtrack. I would, I'm not upset the soundtrack didn't get nominated, but I really thought sound editing should have got yeah. nominated. Yeah. Their, their use in sound mixing and sound editing was uh, phenomenal. Yeah. So, you know, man, it's. Uh, 90 seconds. I mean, I know how to tell time. Shut up. Hey, Corey, uh, 90 seconds. You have five seconds. I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try to take. A couple more calls for you. No, well, I, I'm not. People know the call is done. I'm trying to get through calls. You know, if I say goodbye, then we'll be talking like five minutes more. Uh, 303. 303. Yes. Going once. Going. But talk to me. Right here. Hey, what's up? Ah, uh, man, it's so. All right, okay. thanks. All right, uh, moving on. <laughs> Way to go, 303. 903. Yeah, Corey, Mel Virgin. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I know you guys are running short on time, so I got two quick questions for okay, you, Corey. One. Uh, this one's for you. Uh, number one, are you going to be talking about the Charlie Sheen rant? Let's do this. And he... number two, if you had to assign, you watch Community, uh, yes. so if you had to assign uh, each person of the Spill Crew, uh, like like the person they would be in Community, who would it be? And that's it. Thanks, man. Uh, that's a good one. Um... Leah, Chevy Chase. You know what? <laughs> I want to be the 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 McHale. What's his name? Joel McHale. Joel, I want to be his character, but I want to be Chevy Chase too. <laughs> Chevy Chase is the best. He's character. the best. Be Chevy Chase. Leon would be. How much time we got? Oh, well, we got to answer that for another time. I don't have a woman to say goodbye with a lovely voice. I'm just gonna get Metal Virgin to do it. Oh, fuck you. No, on the phone <laughs> in person. I have a very lovely woman. Say goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. That has been the Oscar show for tonight. I wasn't really feeling it. We had a good time. We talked shit. You know, it was cool. I hope you have a good time re-listening to this because it only works if you listen to it with the audio from the show or watching the show itself. But somebody even said, then, it still might not work. <laughs> and even then, it's, and even then, it might be a lag or something. It still might not work. So I'm, I'm as much as I promised I would put this back up. I'm still contemplating doing that. So, but I did have a good time. I had great fun talking with you people. I have great fun hanging out with my friends here. And uh, I got pizza and I got drunk off a of beer. So, Woo! What more know, do you need? What more do you need out of that? All right, people. A lot of fun. We will be talking next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs>